Hey, what is up guys? My name is Tom Spark and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be answering some of the most common NordVPN questions out there to help you guys use the product better or to help you decide if you should use it or not or just to onboard you a little easier. Now guys, if you haven't purchased NordVPN yet, I do have an exclusive discount or at least the best discount you can get with NordVPN that pretty much goes on all the time. If you click on the link in the description or pin comment or use code TOMSPARK21, you can get a good discount. I think it's around 10% off on one of the plans. So click on that link and get the discount and that's gonna be the best discount you can really get. Just to be clear guys, this video is not sponsored by NordVPN and I'm making it out of my own volition and I completely made this list myself. However, that said, I am an affiliate for NordVPN and pretty much every other VPN company out there, or at least a very large number of them. And anytime you click on any of my links, you'll directly support the channel. Anyways, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so what are some of the most common questions? Number one, when paying for NordVPN, do you have to pay at once or over time? Now, I would say that most other YouTubers who actually advertise VPN services don't really understand VPN pricing and they kind of misadvertise the real price of most VPNs, including NordVPN, other VPNs like Surfshark and Express. That's because they tell you that you're going to be paying around $3 a month and you get three months free from the get go. However, that's not really the case. What you're actually doing is paying up front for a two or three year plan, a bulk price of probably around $80 to $100, depending on the exact price. And then at the end of the year subscription, you're also getting an extra three months. So it's not like you're just paying two to three dollars. You're paying up an upfront price for a three year package. And then at the end of those three years or two years, depending on the bundle you buy, your current deal will end. And that leads me to my next question. What is the price of NordVPN after my deal ends? Well, NordVPN charges around $100 a year after your deal ends. And that will subscribe every year um, that you're subscribed to it. Next up is a question saying, what happens when I can't connect to the internet with NordVPN? Or if you've installed NordVPN and have been using it, but if you're not connected, you can't connect to the internet. This is probably gonna be a problem with NordVPN's kill switch. Make sure you have it disabled because if you have it enabled, which basically means that you won't be able to connect unless you're connected to NordVPN, which is kind of like a safety measure to ensure you never connect without protection. The next question that I see a lot is which regions of Netflix work with NordVPN? Now, most regions actually do work with NordVPN and lately I've actually been recommending it as a pretty good option for Netflix. And it blocks a lot of different regions around the world, some very unique ones, and most of the big ones too as well. So it's a decent Netflix VPN. If it's not currently working, reload or pick another server. And if that doesn't work, maybe set, submit a support ticket to check with Nord on which servers they recommend you use. Next up is a common question. How many devices can I use at once with Nord VPN? How many devices can I have connected simultaneously? And that would be six. Next up is who owns NordVPN. Now this one is a little bit tricky. They're based in Panama, but the original company that founded NordVPN is called Tesonet, and Tesonet is a Lithuanian-based company. Surfshark is another company based in an offshore location. I, I'm pretty sure they were based in the British Virgin Islands or Panama, and now they're based in the Netherlands. At the end of the day, both companies are kind of linked to a company called Tesonet, which is kind of like a data incubator or a huge tech company based in Lithuania. The co-founder, I think, is Tom Oakmanan and another guy. And there's probably some other people involved, too. But that's the original company that created NordVPN. Next up is another question I see asked a lot. Is NordVPN a trustworthy company? Well, that kind of is up to you. NordVPN has had a couple issues in the past, but since then they've tried to shore up some of these um, PR hits with some other reparative methods to kind of bolster their PR and image. They've done bug bounty programs, implementations. They've even done audits and other things like that to kind of make people trust them again. So it's kind of up to you on that one. Lastly, one question I can see a lot is, should I buy NordVPN? Now, if you're looking for one of the easiest VPNs to use and a VPN that gives really good speeds worldwide, especially if you're in an odd location, um, like one of these places, I do think NordVPN is going to be the fastest VPN to use. It also has very good streaming compatibility. However, that said, as if you've been watching this video, you do got to watch out for a couple little tricks up their sleeve. You got to watch out for those 
payments when they charge. You also got to consider the yearly cost after your deal ends. If you guys want to buy NordVPN, remember to click on my link. And if you want to help support the channel, check out some of my other privacy related products in the description and pin comment down below. Those are all going to help you out with your privacy, security, and anonymity online.